to measure the temperature coefficient of resistivity alpha of a semiconductor an electric arrangement shown in the figure is prepared okay the arm bc is made up of a semiconductor okay to ye jo bc hai this is uh, this is actually a semiconductor okay to so, semiconductor ka actually uh, property hota hai ki when the temperature increases temperature increases its resistivity decreases so therefore alpha you know the that is the temperature coefficient of resistivity is actually negative theek hai to kaise negative hota hai so r is equal to r not 1 minus you know whatever you know alpha is there delta t of course plus we can write an alpha is actually in negative theek hai to isliye jab temperature badhega when the temperature rises the you know this entire thing becomes less than 1 so therefore r decreases okay fine the experiment is being conducted at 25 degree centigrade and resistance of the uh, semiconductor arm is 3 milli ohms okay arm bc is cooled theek hai to initially it is 3 milli ohms okay initially it is 3 milli ohms at uh, 25 degree centigrade okay arm bc is cooled at a constant rate of 2 degree centigrade per second if the galvanometer g shows no deflection after 10 seconds then alpha is so for the galvanometer to show no deflection you know we should understand ki wheatstone bridge ka concept aayega yahan pe okay so therefore 0.8 milli ohm divided by the resistance in bc will be equal to 1 milli ohm divided by 3 milli ohm so this is gone this is gone so therefore resistance in bc will be equal to 2.4 milli ohm okay for galvanometer to show no deflection okay so 2.4 milli ohm hua and this is after 10 second so that means uh in 10 seconds if you see okay so that means in 10 seconds how much delta t is there theek hai so 2 degree centigrade per second 10 second so therefore 20 degree centigrade jo hai it has arise so therefore we can write that now the r nu is equal to r not 1 plus alpha delta t so now what is the nu it is 2.4 milli ohm is equal to previously it was 3 milli ohm into 1 plus alpha into 20 degree centigrade so this is gone this is gone this is 0.8 2.4 divided by 3 so this becomes 0.8 so 0.8 is equal to 1 plus alpha into 20 degree centigrade okay so therefore alpha into 20 degree centigrade becomes minus 0.2 so therefore alpha becomes minus 0.2 divided by 20 degree centigrade so this is gone this is 100 so this is alpha becomes minus 1 into 10 to the power minus 2 degree centigrade to the power minus 1 okay so this is alpha so therefore the answer becomes c thank you